Welcome guys to another JMC Bites. This one's going to be about relationships. And I'm talking about any kind of relationship you may have. Of course we know about Genesis 2.24 talking about a man will leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife and they'll become one flesh. That's after getting married and being intimate. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13.4-7 Love is patient and kind. Doesn't envy or boast. Not arrogant or rude. Doesn't insist its own way. It's not irritable, resentful. Does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Loves all things, believes, hopes, and endures all things. These are relationships. Um, but what does Christ also talk about relationships? He talks about the works of the flesh, you know, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry. This is Galatians 5, 19-21, and it keeps going on to rivalries, anger, jealousy, you name it, it happens. Drunkenness, um... All sorts of things. Homosexuality. The list goes on and on and on. It says, I warn you as I warned you before. That those of you who do such things. Will not inherit the kingdom of God. Meaning, if you don't repent of your sins. You don't go to heaven. And I know there's a big argument over what you do and what you don't. But this also gets a lot deeper into what Romans 12 verses 1 and 2 says. To present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to the world, but transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you'll be able to test and discern what is the will of God, what's good, acceptable, and perfect. See, in our relationships, the people that we have at work, the people we have in school, the people that are in our family. Oh my goodness, I said the dirty word. Family! The big F word! Yeah, it really is for some people. Um... We don't know how to communicate with one another. We don't get along. You know, there, there's movies and cartoons about this. The family packs up the car and goes somewhere. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Arr, 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 arr. Bite, 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 bite. You know, the list goes on and on and on. But what does Christ see? He sees us trying to love one another. Be friendly to one another. Quit talking about people. Hey, hey, Ethel. You remember what happened when Billy Jane came over here and she and she forgot to she forgot to take off her. Um, those kinds of things. Stop doing that. Okay? Leave poor Ethel alone. And those that are older are probably laughing their heads off because they know where I got that from. Um, but honestly, genuinely, foolheartedly, can we today be able to have Christ-like relationships with men and women, young and old, and stop bickering, arguing, com complaining with one another, and try and help edify one another? What I mean is, if they're struggling with something, pray with them. Help them. Too much today, we're in a situation where we don't talk to one another. We're all just doing our own little thing, our phone, or we're, we're busy, you know, that's the deal. This phone thing. This phone thing. Oh my goodness. How many of you can go without your phone today? Phone? I can't go without my phone. What are you talking about? Go without my phone. My phone is my life. No, it's not. So here's my challenge to you today. Here's what I need to see you try and do. Can you, can you today, put the phone down, put the bad relationship down, put all these problems that are in your life with all these other people and lay it at the foot of the cross. You know the cross? The cross? Give it to Christ today. Say, God, I can't fix these problems. I can't fix myself. I need you to help me today. I know this is getting a little more in-depth than a normal devotional, but it has to have a little meat to it here. Because when you allow Christ to transform your mind, to renew your mind and your heart and your tongue, which you've learned through some of these devotionals, relationships won't be a problem anymore. You'll know how to respond to these things. So that's what I challenge you today. Ask Christ to reveal to you how you can have Christ-like relationships. Are you doing something right? Are you doing something wrong? Can you change something? It may not necessarily be a sin, but it, you're, you're not having a good relationship with someone else. So why don't you change what you're doing? So that's the problem. But you don't want to change what we're doing. Let's try and do that today. God bless.